crackberry.com. Hey everybody, this is Kevin from crackberry.com, and today we're looking at the BlackBerry Bold 9700. Uh, you can see here I got a T-Mobile version and Rogers version with me. But what I want to quickly do is compare the new Bold to the old Bold uh, to get some perspective of what's changed here. And immediately you can see a lot here. Let's go Rogers to Rogers. Um, first thing, size of the device. You can see how much bigger the original Bold was. So this one had a, about a quarter inch more thickness or width to the physical screen. Uh, resolution wise this is 480 by 320. This one's 480 by 360. Uh, but you can see this one actually has a little bit wider screen and look at the difference in keyboard size. So the first Bold was just a bigger device all around. Not necessarily that heavy, uh, but it just took up a lot of space. Uh, if we start to go around the device, you can see some of the big changes that have happened. So we keep the same speaker port. Uh, the old device had mini USB, now we have micro USB. You know, gone are the plastic buttons in favor of the rubberized ones. The old Bold had an externally accessible uh, micro SD card slot which was okay but a little annoying. It's kind of nice to put it here. Uh, the new one, if I pop this battery door off, which tends to give me a little trouble, you can see they've actually stuck it right there. So it pushes in and then you can slide it out and you can push it in again. Works pretty well, just kind of tricky behind the camera. Close that door shut, which is still a little tight, but works okay. Uh, around the right side of the device, again, you can see what's going on. On the back, you got a 2 megapixel camera. Now you have a 3.2 megapixel camera um, with better focus on it. Uh, what else is key? Under the hood, you have the same batteries. You have the same processors. Both devices have Wi-Fi. This one has twice the memory if we want to click into options and memory you can see you know we have about 121 megs of free application memory uh, so this has 256 to, to begin with whereas this had 128 which leaves much less so you have much more working memory on this device it should run a lot smoother over the course of the day and weeks and months so that's that's the big thing obviously trackball trackpad versus nice and silent. Uh, both these devices right now are running OS 5.0 so this originally shipped with 4.6 it'll get the 5.0 update this is shipping with 5.0 um, so you've got the same operating system it's just a better Blackberry Bold. You might actually say too that you know it's nearly more curve like in terms of size if I just grab a 8900 here you can see that the actual size is much less like the original Bold and much like the newer curve form factor. Uh, if I compare it to the Tour quickly, you can get a sense for what's going on. So I guess these days it's the leather back and the word Bold that really make it a Bold, but, but really very curve-like. Uh, Interesting look too if we want to see it, the progression the, the Bold 9700 made. On the right was the original Onyx prototype, so we had this plastic battery door, which by the way was really easy to put on and off versus this one's much more tight, uh, but also trackball. But the final version got the trackpad and the leather back on it. What else do we have to look at here? This would be the Tour 2 on the right, so basically a Tour but with a trackpad and Wi-Fi. So you can see that these devices become much more on par when the, the Tour gets those two features, but still have a slightly different look and feel about them. Uh, similar keyboard. Uh, what's interesting is you know the keyboards here between the, the first Tour and the second Tour. Uh, the first Tour has a slightly bigger bottom row. This one's slightly shorter keys, spacebar keys, which is what the uh, Bolt 9700 has, so they've kind of borrowed that keyboard. That's kind of it. Uh, what else can we look at? We got the, you know, against the Curve 8520. So you can see size isn't an issue for packing punch into the device. Um, the Curve 8520 is almost bigger than the, the Bolt 9700, yet this is a much more powerful uh, smartphone. 
And I think that's about it for now. We kind of looked at it. I just wanted to give a quick overview of what's going on against some of the competition um, within the family. Here's a Storm 2. You can see the difference in screen size. So if you're thinking you want the latest and greatest but don't know if you want to go touch screen or physical keyboard, um, here's the trade-offs. You want a full keyboard that's nice and easy to type on. This might be a little more difficult to type on, but you get much more screen real estate. So depending on your priorities, you might pick this over that or this over that. Your choice. Uh, that's really a lot of phones on the table now. Pearl Flip, why not? <laughs> Here's a Pearl Flip compared to the Bolt 9700. Still much smaller. Uh, first generation Storm. Okay, this is getting ridiculous now. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Not the greatest video, but hey, it's a nice new device. Short on time at the moment. But uh, Bold 9700, it's the best of the traditional BlackBerry experience. And that's it. KevinCrackBerry.com.